Today we're gonna make a strawberry rhubarb crumble. It's a classic combination of spring flavors like sweet strawberries and tart rhubarb with a little lemon and sugar all mixed together and it cooks until it's like super rich and luscious and thick. And then there's like this beautiful cinnamon streusel topping that's on top. It's just out of this world. If you're enjoying this video, be sure to hit the subscribe button below and click the bell icon to be notified every time I post a new and delicious recipe. Let's get into it. So, first step of this crumble situation is to make the crumble. Now you can do this in a bowl by hand, but I don't have patience for that. So we're gonna put it in a stand mixer. AP flour, boom. Sugar, cinnamon, kosher salt, and then butter. Now this is slightly softened. Could it be cold and cubed? Yes. Should it be super soft? No. So just go ahead and get that into your stand mixer or whatever method you're choosing. Now I am making a double recipe, so this is a lot of crumble um, because I intend to make more crumbles this week because crumbles are my favorite. Boom, into the stand mixer. And now we can forget about it. Yep, just on low. All right, time to prepare our fruit. Now, I'm gonna use the same bowl and put it in there. I've got some beautiful rhubarb. If yours is green, you should peel it because it's going to taste nasty. Um, or you can just, I don't know, wait for it to be in season. Either of these things work. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut off any bits that are browning or that have any leaves attached to them because those are poisonous. So go ahead and just kind of give yours a nice slice. I think that they actually cook nicer in crisps and crumble when they're, oh, <laughs> when they're cut like this, um, just some kind of quarter inch pieces. But if you want to do it a different way, totally up to you. I'm going to check on what's going on in my stand mixer before I start with my strawberries. Because I feel like things are getting, uh, getting good in here. So I'm going to go ahead and reach my hand in there. Oh yeah, a nice little paw of crumble. That's the good stuff. So she's done. And she'll wait for us because that's the beauty of this. Okay, little straws. Um, now, the beauty of crumbles is that it's not that serious and you could do all rhubarb. You could sub in any sort of fruit situation that you are desiring or looks best in the market. You know, that's the beauty of this, is it that it's not, you know, it's not serious. Just cut the tops off, try to save as much of the beautiful fruity bit as possible. And then, you know, you've got decisions. You can cut these however you like. I'm just gonna kind of cut them in nice big chunks. Um, you know, kind of around the same size as the rhubarb um, for obvious reasons, <laughs> so that they cook around the same speed. Cool. Grab these, put them in your bowl with your rhubarb. Yeah. Look at that. So happy to get it there. Like I said, this isn't that serious. So we. Look at this weird one. <laughs> we are going to um, just do a little a little eyeballing, but don't worry, I'll measure for you. Um, so we're going to do about half of this lemon, which be about a whole lemon, like a whole normal size lemon, because this is, I mean, I don't know where they grew this, but wow. She a large. Okay, so one normal size lemon zested. Get your lemon. I'm just going ahead and like juicing it straight into my bowl with a strainer set on top. If I want to check how much there is, I just have to pull that up and I'm like, that's 20 grams. I'd like to have a little bit more. Now this crumble is very sweet. Um, strawberries, these are beautiful and in season. And so they are also very sweet. So I want to make sure that I've got a nice tart base to go with the rhubarb to kind of highlight that a bit. So yeah, 50 grams, that's what's up. Sometimes the amount of sugar that you want to add is going to depend on the fruit, right? I don't know where my quarter cup is. 
But no worries, we've got a third here, which is often overlooked. Okay, so I think this is a lot of sugar. I'm gonna go ahead and give that toss together. Just a nice toss. Mm. Look at those colors. The pinks and the reds and the yellows. Oh. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna taste my, my mixture here. Well, that is lovely. So I think I'm good. I got a little bit of rhubarb and a little bit of strawberry in there with the sugar and the lemon. Boom! Perfect. And we're ready to assemble. So go ahead and take this dish of your choosing pour this luscious, gorgeous filling into said dish. Orange zest would also be really nice in here, so you know, don't feel married to the lemon. Okay, go ahead and spread it out. We're gonna go ahead and get our beautiful crumble. And then we're gonna crumble about half of it on top of here. Like I said, I made a double. I want some big pieces, I want some small pieces, I want all the pieces. It's a generous amount of crumble, okay? I have yet to meet a person who's like, oh, I just don't love the crumble part of crumbles. But if you're that person, hi. Uh, and then just put less on. You can save it and make, this will freeze nicely. You can freeze the crumble if you would like to, uh, you know, make another batch at another time. Maybe you just wanna be that, you know, really prepared, amazing person who always is able to make a crumble at any moment. I see you, I respect you. Uh, and that's it, so that's literally all we did. We just crumbled our topping on top, um, and we are ready to bake. I have preheated my oven to 350 degrees convection. If you do not have convection, just bump it up to 375. Um, and then we're gonna pop this baby in, and I'm pretty stoked about it. We're gonna bake it until the filling is nice and bubbly um, and just juicy and, do you know what I'm talking about? That's what we're doing. In she goes. And it's out. It is bubbly and ferocious and in all the best ways. <laughs> what? <laughs> it is. So I it waited for it to bubble in all in the center and around the edges. It took about 40 minutes, I'd say. No, it took 45. It took about 45 minutes. Um, and now we just have to let it cool a little bit. Or you can eat it now, but uh, it will be definitely way looser if you eat it while it is piping hot. No shame in that game, though. So we're gonna let this cool, and then we're gonna try. It's time to try! Yes! Um, it is cooled substantially, not all the way, because I like a warm crisp or crumble. Um, and we are gonna dive right in. Oh my gosh, do you see? We didn't even add any cornstarch here and it is just so thick and luscious. Do you see this beautifulness that's occurring right now? Oh, I mean, I just need a moment with it to just gaze upon her. I'm ready. <laughs> All right, I gotta make sure I get some, like a decent amount of crumble because that is what I am here for. I mean, fruit's great too, but crumble is, <laughs> crumble's what's up. Oh my, oh my dear. Mmm. It's a little tart, a little sweet. You can taste the rhubarb and the strawberries, but they've like blended together. They're like all mixed and like, yeah. One happy family in there. I can tell you that. And it's like thickened, the juices have thickened naturally, so it's just kind of like this like super silky smooth filling with like a little bit crunchy. And then the parts of the crumble that like fell inside, which are my favorite parts, by the way, are like soft and chewy. Oh, whew. If this doesn't say spring to you, I just don't know what does. 